But yeah, so I'm using an oil funnel. I'm not so sure if this one is one that filters out dirt, but I got that. Um, I got some Castorol GTX 10W40. Um, though there are other W's or whatever, um, there are different ones you can get for the micros. This one is the one I got recommended to be on on a micro forum, and I got a oil filter from Champion. Um, so yeah, that's because I'm a champion. Um, and we've got a small oil filter pliers or remover um, to remove the air, um, not air, oil filter. So yeah, um, hopefully this is the right size um, and yeah. Anyone watching, do not take my advice. I'm not professional. I'm a professional in car mechanics simulator, but it's my first ever time doing it. So, should I really be taking that out when it's hot? I don't know. Yeah, it's alright. Is it going to shoot out? No, no, no. It's just, you've only just moved so, it. Yeah, that's the colour, so it's. I guess that's alright, but. What does that look like? I haven't got the glasses. Too bad. Well, anyways, I'm going to learn how to change it. Because it's been six months. Where's the oil filter then? Jack. It's somewhere at the. It's sort of hard to get to right there. So. Oh, right. Well, in that case, we shouldn't be doing it then, should yeah, we? we should. No, we shouldn't. Not as hard to get to. Not to. You just have to reach up and stuff a bit. Well, where's the sump plug? Which one's the sump plug? You told me you've done this before, so... No, I ain't years ago, Jack. I don't know what we're doing this. I feel safe. Yeah. Right, there's the oil. It's up there. What is? It's up there. Right, is? right, Right behind that drive shaft. What is? There. What is, mate? The oil filter. Oh, okay. Where's the sump plug? Right here. Sorry? So look. Where's the put where is it? Here. Oh okay, yeah. Or it's on the side somewhere. Well no, you need to know which one it is. Yeah, I know. Well which one is it then? This one, because this is an oil pan, the engine's here. Uh, so so the oil this to get to. Right here. Oil filter. Um, oil sump plug, I mean, and oil filter is just up there. I'm not sure the, yeah, the camera can see that. Also, if you're leaving your car on a ramp, leave it in park, or if it's a manual like mine, leave it in first. And if it's the opposite way round, you're going back, then leave it in reverse because that axe is parked in a manual car, as well as your handbrake. Don't forget your handbrake. Is it loosening? Yeah. There you go. I should be wearing gloves. Don't lose that, whatever you do. Alright. You got it? Yeah. Oh, get out of the way. 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 <laughs> get out of the way. Get out of the way. All right. Don't just give me a hand. Stay there, <laughs> stay there. Yeah, that's why I should be wearing gloves, really. But... Don't move your hand. Right, my camera's run out of battery, but I've got some gloves on. Try and catch catch the oil from the from the oil filter oh, into there, mate. Sitting on it. Whereabouts is the oil filter, mate? Give us an idea. Just there. All right.
That's what we need. A, that's what we need a pit, really. That is in a tricky position, isn't it? Which way does it actually go? So, this oil filter's being a pain. It's broken this tool whether we were able to get it fixed. So, but I think we've got to try banging a screwdriver for it. So, yeah, um, basically I ran a screwdriver for it, but I could not remove it. Um, I just didn't want to give up, but um, yeah, I tried doing that and I ended up just breaking the screwdriver. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need a better, like a proper cable remover tool. Or I think my friend said it could also be that the previous garage said that maybe they didn't oil the seal so which even i thought it'd be legal if they didn't do that but yeah they said they probably didn't oil the seal so it's probably that's probably why it's so tough to remove but yeah um but yeah it's the next day so but hopefully i think a mechanic is coming literally really soon or this evening so um yeah hopefully i'll find out soon um, what the actual problem is, why it didn't come off. How much is that? Not even one litre. Yeah. So now I've put about a litre in. So I should probably fit it down to the one, shouldn't I? Is that down to three now, is it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll go down to just... Or just, or just, um, just, or just above the one, yeah. Because yeah. you're going to... It's kind of hard because it's not a level surface, but... I don't know if I'm not looking at it. You get a rough idea. You go just above the one. Yeah. You always put in more and take out... Two. See ya. How do you know how much to put in? Oh, because we've researched it. So, that is my first oil change done. So, I did add the oil in at the end. So, I've pretty much done most of it. Um, I think my lesson learned from this video is do not use that type of oil filter remover i've used because especially cheap ones from autodoc that's what the man said um plus autodoc took absolutely forever to to ship um because it comes from germany it's not a uk it, it, it sort of advertises itself as a uk brand but it doesn't actually it's not actually from uk and larger oil you larger orders you have to pay customs on even i'm going out again soon i'm going out soon um to go to the gym but that is yeah hopefully it's been a bit of a funny video um seeing a bit of a fail um but it's a learning even though it's a bit of an embarrassment it was a learning experience and the car is now all oiled up and now i can say i've oiled it twice a year which is gonna really look really good when i go to sell this car um when i do sell this car um it's not for sale at the moment but yeah um but yeah that is good all right before i forget to do my outro my name's jay froz i'm out peace